United Against Corruption recognizes that transparency, accountability, and anti-corruption are important for promoting peace, security, and sustainable development. With all the different players working on anti-corruption, it is by far a good initiative that brings together voices and collective action to mobilize political will to combat corruption in Papua New Guinea. Speaking at the gathering, Tom Tiki from the Department of Finance have highlighted that a range of public finance management reforms are undertaken to prevent opportunity for abuse and with initiatives for citizens to report corruption. With the revised PFMA Public Finance Act now, it's a mandatory for all government agencies that, have, that receive public funds should have an audit committee in place. Corruption is not openly discussed. However, every department has its own corrupt activities and have unique ways to address them. Daniel Taka, Director of Regional and External Relations PNG Ombudsman Commission, says the watchdog will continue their role in combating corruption with other respective law and justice sector. He says Ombudsman Commission has opened its doors to the public to fight corruption. To investigate the alleged misconduct by the uh, government department's officers, or the malpractice by the government bodies, and also investigate the alleged discriminatory practices by the government bodies or uh, persons in the department. The private sector contributes in a lot of ways to voice on anti-corruption as well as specific initiatives including joint public-private partnership such as the Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative. We don't investigate or prosecute cases of corruption directly but we assist with um, the work of legal advice, primarily to people that want to report corruption that they might have been a victim of or witnessed, and we give them assistance in terms of referral on to partners. Amanda Rimor, National MTV News.